The St. Joseph's College president is calling it quits in May when the school will suspend operations following financial problems. The school will stay open until spring, but after that, students and faculty will have to find a new school. News 18's Alexis Moberger joins us now and reports how students, both past and present, are taking a stand against the administration. Alexis? Brittany, students have taken a vote of no confidence, and they're hoping five people, including the school's president, resign. Students say the administration failed to directly communicate the financial state of the college to them. Alumni are also upset. They've gotten more than 4,000 signatures demanding an internal investigation and for the board and president to resign. You know, when we received the news last week that the school was closing, um, I, we were shocked um, as alumni, completely shocked. Melissa Marshall graduated from St. Joseph's College in 2006. And just like the school's slogan, she's a Puma involved for life. I came to St. Joe's and um, I was recruited by soccer, so I played soccer the entire time I was there. Um, the teammates I have there, I still talk to, and you know, we, we all stood up in each other's weddings. So when Marshall and other alumni heard that the school was suspending operations after extreme financial debt, they knew they had to do something. But getting answers or even a response from the school was close to impossible. The mailboxes became full. You couldn't leave a message anymore. No one was getting callbacks. But the financial problems didn't happen overnight. In fact, they started even before Marshall enrolled. I think this, is, uh, this has been uh, years in the making. I'd probably say over the last couple of decades. So when President Robert Pastor took the position in March of 2015, he was hoping to turn things around. He says because of low enrollment and structural upkeep, the debt became more dire. Even if we brought in another 40 or 50 students, it would not be enough to, uh, to address the financial issues. The school will take a one to two year hiatus, hoping to resurrect itself after that. Pastor says the school will then need to hire a new president. And I accepted this position. Uh, this, is, this really was not uh, envisioned by me that I would be going through this. Uh, my vision for St. Joe's was to develop uh, an opportunity to, uh, to strengthen the college and move it forward. Unfortunately, that time has run out. The school received donated land that was put into a trust fund from Juanita Waugh, who was a St. Joe's fellow when she passed away years ago. Pastora says the school will continue to get that money and they hope to reinvent themselves a few years from now. Alexis Moberger, News 18.